Lightning occurs when there's a charge separation between two regions. For example, we might have a charge separation between a cloud and the ground. The bottom of the cloud might be negative and the ground positive. So there's a charge separation between these two regions. And lightning is a discharge of that charge separation where the electrons jump from the cloud to the ground to neutralize that charge separation. So lightning is a discharge of charge separation. And this happens due to friction. So of course friction is when surfaces and particles rub against each other. So when particles rub against each other, electrons from one particle can jump across to the other particle. So the particle that loses electrons becomes positive and the particle that gains electrons becomes negative. So if this happens enough, then we have a separation of charge. Now, not all clouds create lightning. We need to have very specific conditions for that to occur. And that often starts when we've got moist air that flows in from the ocean and gets heated up by warm land. So when moist air gets heated, hot air of course rises. Now we've got these um, currents of air rising up into the atmosphere, creating what's called an updraft. Now this, as this moist air gets further into the atmosphere, it condenses, forming a large vertical cloud. The top of the cloud is so cold that it's below freezing. So ice forms in the top of these clouds. And the ice being heavier starts to fall down through the cloud, creating a downdraft. So we've got particles moving up and we've got particles moving down and they're going to collide with each other particles moving up, particles moving down, colliding with each other, electrons get transferred from one particle to the other. So say the particles going up become positive, particles going down become negative. So that means that we get a charge separation where the bottom of the cloud becomes negative, the top of the cloud becomes positive, and the ground, interestingly, becomes positive. Now, why does the ground become positive? Well, it's because like charges repel. So if we've got a positive and a negative, of course they're going to be attracted to each other. Lo uh, opposite charges attract, but like charges repel. They won't go together, they want to push apart. So this heavily negative area at the bottom of the cloud pushes the electrons in the ground down out of the way so the electrons go down lower. So that means the top of the ground is positive. So we've got a charge separation between the bottom of the cloud and the ground. Now the electricity or the lightning can't just jump from the cloud to the ground because there's too much resistance in this air. So instead what happens, we've got these supercharged channels of air that start to reach out from the bottom of the cloud and from the ground. And these are called leaders. And when they meet, well that completes the circuit. So it reduces that resistance to flow and then the electricity can run straight down through to the ground. The electrons, a big sudden burst of electricity shoots from the, the cloud to the ground. And that's lightning. It superheats the air, creates that big flash of light and the crash of the thunder. And it's the electrons, they're going from the cloud to the ground and it discharges that charge separation. 
and that is lightning. So, for lightning to occur, first of all, we need to have friction. So, particles rubbing against each other to create friction, and that produces the charge separation. To, to have that charge separation, for that to occur, to get the, the friction to occur, we need the warm, moist air, and we also need really tall vertical clouds that uh, are so high in the atmosphere that it's below freezing. So we need high vertical clouds. And then the next thing is we need to close the circuit. So we need to create a, a closed electrical circuit by the leaders reaching out and connecting. Leaders making a connection. And only then do we get the discharge. And the discharge is when the electrons, it's a flow of electrons from the cloud to the ground. That's how lightning forms.